Greetings critters, it's Fox here and welcome to my Burrow of Thoughts, aka my channel where we talk about everything spooky and today will be a spooky book review of Paul Tremblay's A Head Full of Ghosts. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get spooky. A little bit about the plot of A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. So, the Barretts are under emotional and financial strain when their daughter, Marjorie, becomes seriously mentally ill or is possessed. Needing a remedy for both their health and their finances, they agree with the father of their church to allow a team to come in for two weeks and film their family. Years later, Marjorie's sister comes forth and tells her version of the story. Okay, so my thoughts on Paul Tremblay's Head Full of Ghosts. Okay, so I read this once and then I read it again a month later and I read it again the second time in one sitting. And I must say my perspective of this book changed with my second read. First off, this is not your average supernatural book. This book goes in to reveal how the internet, media, pop culture, and us as readers all consume and how we respond to the media of horror, especially true horror. Um, there are many layers to the story. In that sense, I am talking about the modern take on the show coming in and filming to the blog posts by, um, Karen and her perspective as a viewer of the story. And then you have what happens with Marjorie's sister and her perspective. So there's so many layers to this story. Now, now reading it the second time in one go, I was unnerved and it takes a lot to do that to me. It could have been the mental health aspect to this book and my own personal experience with that that created this web of connectivity between me and Marjorie. Definitely recommend this book. Um, it is, it's not, you know, for everyone. It did lag in some parts, especially in the uh, blog posts, um, but it was really well written. Paul Tremblay, the epitome of horror writing. His writing is beautiful. It is enthralling. For To make me sad in a horror book? Paul, way to slay. Oh my goodness. Like, and then I read it the second time and I'm totally enthralled in the aspect of horror. So I feel like this is a book that I can read multiple times and just feel fresh. Every time I read it, it's gonna be fresh to me. It's gonna have something I didn't see the first time or second time. You know what I mean? Anyway. The ending was great. The twist is sublime. I am so glad that I gave myself time to read this a second time before reviewing it because honestly, this put me on edge. It actually gave me a nightmare too. So A Head Full of Ghosts, Paul Tremblay, I highly recommend it and I am reading it five tales out of five. I know when I first read it, I gave it two tails out of five, but Paul Tremblay, bear with me. I am on a journey with your writing. 
Okay, critters, that's all from this den of frights. I love and I appreciate you guys so, so, so much for being here with me today. It means the whole wide and wild wilderness to me. It really does, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky. Bye.